All right, here we are. The latest dispatch from Morocco. Join me and let's go. Today, I'm heading to Fez, Morocco. Morocco has been on my list of countries to visit for many years, and I'm so excited to get the chance to explore. Fez is a city in northern inland Morocco. It's the capital of the Fez Meknes administration region and is the second largest city in Morocco. It has a population of over a million people, according to a 2014 census. And from what I heard while I was there, the old Medina potentially has a million people living just inside the old Medina. It's an incredible space. There are all these tiny winding streets where if you're not familiar with the area and you don't have a map or a guide, you can definitely get lost or just spend many hours exploring until you figure out your way out. There are so many different vendors, locals, uh, shops, places to eat. If you're into uh, interesting food and new food, which I totally am, uh, you can take a food tour. And I checked out so many different things to eat in the city with uh, my local guide. And we explored all the different things that uh, Fez has to offer. You could spend probably a lifetime getting to know the ins and outs of the history of the city, but here are just a few highlights uh, that I found very interesting while I was there. One of the oldest universities, if not the oldest continually operating university in the world is found in the old Medina of Fez. Also inside the old Medina is the Chowara Tanneries. The Chowara Tannery inside the old Medina of Fez is one of three large tanneries in the city and potentially the oldest tannery in the world. This tannery is incredible. There are all these pots as you visit that you can see from different shops along the way. I recommend if you're there, you stop in. It's free to look. If you'd like to purchase something, absolutely. Some of the best leather goods in the world can be found there. So if you're looking for you know, a handbag or something for your home or a jacket or something like that, if you're into leather and that's your thing, there's some absolutely incredible items to choose from. Inside the tanneries, you see all these clay pots and dye pots. The method of tanning has been the same since the very beginning. A very manual, labor-intensive process for thousands of years. If you're there, I highly recommend you take a look. Uh, the smell is very intense and it's not for everybody. Be prepared for the sights and the smells of the tannery because it is very intense. While I was in Fez, I was very fortunate to be able to hike around the old Medina and see many views that tourists don't normally get to see. I recommend if you're there, take your time in the old Medina, but also step outside to see the city from a wider vista and see all the winding streets and contemplate the daily life of people that may live in a very different way than you do. It's kind of an interesting thing to sit back and just contemplate uh, where we're all placed in this world and the different lives that we live. And I think uh, thinking about that, we can really take away some lessons and appreciate uh, people for who they are and where they are uh, while we also have a sense of exploration and adventure. That's it for now from my time in Fez. I can't wait to share more of my adventures from Morocco and around the world. Remember, live your life. <laughs>